the most important feedback process is, is so-called water vapor feedback so that as you raise the temperature by one degree Fahrenheit, the water holding capacity of the atmosphere goes up by 4%. Okay. And since about 1970, in fact, the temperatures over the ocean, uh, temperatures of the oceans have gone up by about one degree Fahrenheit. And indeed, the water vapor over the oceans has gone up by 4%. So the relative humidity is staying about the same. So water vapor is uh, the most abundant and, and uh, the strongest uh, greenhouse gas uh, that we have. In today's climate, it accounts for about 60% of, uh, of the uh, greenhouse effect. Carbon dioxide is around about 26%. And, and so when we, put, uh, when we have more water vapor in the atmosphere, it, uh, it nearly doubles the original um, heating that occurs. And so that's a, a very important feedback uh, directly related to the amplification of climate change. But it's even more important in terms of what that subsequently does to storms. I mentioned it before with regard to hurricanes. Uh, on average, a storm reaches out and grabs the water vapor over a region about four times the area um, where it's been raining, right. uh, where it is raining, and as a result, if there's more water vapor in the atmosphere, it, it rains harder. And we're seeing that in spades in the United States. Um, uh, heavy rain, very heavy rainfall events, the top 1% has gone up 20% uh, in the 20th century, and that, that's really all, uh, especially since about 1970. Okay. And so, uh, so when it rains, it pours, and so it has consequences for the, the right. hydrological cycle, and it and it amplifies the uh, climate change that's occurring. Let me be clear about this: uh, water vapor is uh, acting as a greenhouse a gas, right. and it's uh, is it the same effect daytime to nighttime? Yes. It, okay. It's, it's so it's a, not like a, it's, it's, a the, it's, it's the green. Well, uh, no, because clouds have two effects. Uh, clouds have a greenhouse effect, but they also block the sun. Okay. And uh, it's. Well, I mean, clouds are a big issue as well, of course. So just to amplify the point Kevin just made, Mars has 50 times as much carbon dioxide in its atmosphere as the Earth does, 50 times more and it's really cold there. So carbon dioxide is not a very good greenhouse gas. Water vapor is what the difference is between Mars and Earth. It's a lack of water vapor that makes Mars so cold.